Hello, my YouTube family. I hope you all had a blessed day. The aim of this program is to make you aware of the types of contributions made by black people throughout our history. So many books have been written by the winners of wars depicting their stories. I think it is time for our story to be told. I encourage all of you to research for yourselves and learn the true history of our people. Teachers, you can use these videos to teach lessons in your black history class. Students, when you're thinking about doing a report for Black History Month, come to our channel, go through the library of videos, and pick one of the people that we highlight. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Let's get familiar. <laughs> In today's episode, we take a look at Fern Y. Hunt. Dr. Fern Hunt is a mathematician who was born in 1948 in New York City to Daphne Lindsay and Thomas Edward Hunt. She has one sister, Erica Hunt, who is a published poet and writer. She grew up in a housing project. She works for the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Her grandparents immigrated to the United States from Jamaica prior to World War I. Essentially, Jamaica then was a British colony that was stratified by color, and so they came to the United States looking for more opportunities. At this time, there was a large West Indian migration into the city. With the encouragement of her junior high school chemistry teacher, she attended the Bronx High School of Science. Fern read a great deal and has always been curious, but she confesses that in school her study habits were not always the best. She never really liked being a student and never liked exams or writing down just the answer you need to get a good grade. She has always enjoyed learning and discussing ideas with people. She decided to major in mathematics at the age of 15. She entered Bryn Mawr College with the encouragement of her mother. During her time as an undergraduate, she was encouraged to pursue her interest in mathematics. During her junior year, Dr. Martin Avery Snyder urged her to pursue a graduate degree at the current Institute of Mathematical Sciences at New York University. She received both her MS and PhD degree from the current institute. After finishing her dissertation, Dr. Hunt started work at academia, first at the University of Utah. She later accepted a position with Howard University's Mathematics Department as an associate professor in 1978. From 1981 to 1982, Hunt worked in the Mathematical Biology Laboratory at the National Institute of Health. From 1988 to 1991, Hunt also served as a member of the Graduate Record Examinations Mathematical Advisory Board with the Education Testing Service. In 1993, Hunt decided to leave Howard University to start her career with the National Institute of Standards and Technology in the Computing and Applied Mathematics Laboratory. Hunt's research interests are focused on applied probability and dynamical systems, which are mathematical models that describe different kinds of movement. In addition to mathematical modeling, Hunt has also conducted research in biomathematics to look at genetic variation and patterns in bacteria. Notable Accomplishments On June 8, 2000, Fern Hunt was awarded the Arthur S. Fleming Award for Outstanding Federal Service. Hunt was also cited for the impact of her collaborative work seeking to apply these developments to diverse problems of science and technological interest. 
She has been a mentor and leading proponent of careers in mathematics for students at the high school, undergraduate, and graduate levels, especially for women and minorities. She is the world expert at using mathematics to understand how people migrate, meaning move from one part of the world to another, say from New Delhi to Atlanta. She characterized the ferromagnetic magnetic materials used in disk drives and ATM cards. Next week, Monday, we will continue to spotlight contributions made by black people throughout history. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this valuable information with your loved ones. Click the notification bell so you will be notified when we upload new videos. Find The Awakening Frequency on Twitter and Instagram and also Facebook. Again, researching is key. Always do your own research and never just listen to what people tell you. We are The Awakening Frequency. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Peace.